that side joint stuff. So, uh, basically recentering it and then trying to strengthen the, that area to basically stabilize that side. A lot of people think it moves um, a lot, it gets out of place, but really it's actually just weak imbalances in the hips usually, um, usually the glute medius area. So we're going to kind of go over some stuff the hip and whatnot. And uh, basically the first thing you're going to do is uh, set the SI joint back in place. Uh, I took this from uh, Kelly Starr. And if you look above, it's Kelly and the S-T-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Basically, you quickly put a little closer to the bottom, put your feet come over your hips, or your knees come over your hips. You go into like a 90 degree angle, okay? Now look at my hairy legs. Okay, from there, your head, your head's flat, your back's flat if you can do it. You're gonna press one way with this leg and pull the other way. So basically, you're pushing, this one's uh, and pulling, I guess you'd say. But you have your hand here to fight that push, and you have the hand here to fight that pull. So basically, two different ways, but you're pushing against them both ways. So you're basically doing a tug of war on both sides, okay? Back hit flat, breathe in, breathe out, you get the back flat, and then push and pull. Three, four, five, and then release. You do that four times. So do it again, one, two, breathe in, you breathe out, press it, two, three, Five, you do that, you do say you do four or five times on both sides again, you switch, now you switch hands, breathe in, breathe all the air out, and then you press against them. Two, three, four, five, and then again, breathe in, etc. After you're done with that, you pop the SI joint into place, or so they say, put the foam roller or something in between the legs, make sure the feet are relatively forward, back flat, breathe in, do the stomach, breathe out, back flat, press your knees in, you might feel a pop in your hips side uh, towards like the upper part of your body, which is down here. Press it as hard as you can against the foam roller, okay? Like if you're pressing with your chest, it would be your knees instead. You'll feel your inner thighs burn, do that for a couple seconds. You can come up with the hips, squeeze your butt, come down, release, breathe in, breathe out, up, squeeze this in, good, squeeze your butt, and then come down while the butt squeeze. After that's done, you're gonna go into the next exercise. Here. Basically, you put the foam roller up, press against this here, your legs out, and up and down the leg here. Straight leg, up here, hand up here, hand on each side, come back to this hip per side. All you gotta do is press up against it, the leg, like this one. Trevor, out, up. That foot relatively straight, ten for the side. Once you're done with that, come here. You cross the leg, basically in a figure four position. Bend here, bend here, head to flat. Fall over. Two to five minutes on this side. Then you come out of that however you want to. Two to five minutes on the other side. Again, whichever side you want to do that side long. Okay. Pause it. This is the last one. You want to get a ball. This is kind of short, so honestly, you could add something to this. You want to add another mat or something. You want to get where you're hiding right here on your side. From here, your arms reaching out, your legs reaching up. And the reason why you're here is so basically your, your SI and your pelvis can kind of work and uh, work what it's supposed to do and kind of center you off, making you not fall over in rotation. So it's better if you have a more rounded surface. So you're here, you can sit here just a little bit. You sit here for two to five minutes and then you speak sides, but again, having a more rounded surface, a little higher, will make you kind of have to try to rock. It's actually going to actually make you work harder than the muscles in there to stabilize the spine and your pelvis and whatnot. You notice how one leg's in front of the other, so basically the top leg's out, bottom leg's out over there, you have split stands, you're here, and then you're getting basically that anti-rotation from uh, holding out right here. So you're here, you're going to hold for two to five minutes, and then you're going to switch sides, and simply here, bottom arms out, top leg's forward, Reach it out, and then you want to stop in the rocking, keep it, keep it centered, keep, it, keep this in line with you can. But squeeze in the bottom leg, press it to that ground, the lift up, up, keep it down. Do that two to five minutes, and then you're done. And then it takes about. Alright, so the next exercise, what you're going to do, you're going to go through four different uh, ways on this, on this uh, exercise. Basically, you're going to do a up step. Basically, pull this up for your hip flexor, come out, make sure that foot, notice how my foot it goes up, you want to go down, stepping out, getting that glute activated. And then come back, using the glute to bring it, and then you need to step forward. Okay? So it's four ways. So it's one, knee up, parallel, two, step out, down, back, three, and then four, four. Basically, you need ten reps of that, so one, two, three, four, ten times on that side, and then you switch. One, two, three, four, and then again, one, 
All the way up, 90 degrees. Two, three, four. Okay, you do that 10 times uh, for about three sets per side. After that, you're going into the next exercise. You go into a, you can go into, you do this on the wall so people see you do this before. So basically, you're going to press against one leg and reach away from it as well. You're here, getting a stretch in the queue up, not queue up, but I believe it's queue up, I'm this queue up. Okay, you're stretching this back side of your back, okay? Whatever side is usually bad, it's usually where you want to stretch more. At least two minutes, up to five, on the bad side for sure, a little bit more. Then the good side or the easier side, you're pressing away, reaching out, two minutes, a little bit more, but the bad side, you want more than the good side. Okay, after you're done with that, what you're gonna do, 